I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear, nor did I wish to practice resignation, unless it was quite necessary. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. A butterfly has landed on my backpack and has started puddling. Male butterflies require minerals in order to be able to reproduce, and uh, they usually collect the minerals off of roads or salty areas and things like that. Well, in this case, my backpack has sufficient minerals, and this guy uh, really likes it. He's been on my backpack for quite a while. Wow. Looking good. A few more minutes. Oatmeal, coffee, and raisins. You know, why settle for oatmeal the way you usually make it, you know, as a as a sort of a mush? Instead, take that oatmeal, add sugar or any sweetener that you would like and uh, one egg. Mix that up and you can make cookies. Look at these wonderful cookies. 
Don't they look good? And they cook beautifully. Oh yeah, look at them. That is just so scrumptious. So, if you want to add raisins to the cookies, you can add them that way or you can eat them separately. Enjoy. Mmm. This is so good. Try it. You'll like it. Watching all the butterflies gather their food makes me hungry. Uh, I make sure when I forage for wild edibles to not take more than 10% uh, that's on a plant to leave plenty for, of course, nature. And so I just have a few here, and these are so tasty. Look at them carefully so that you're not eating any insects unless you want to. Mmm, it tastes like candy. flowers. Mm. They're also good on the young leaves. Maybe I'm becoming an insect. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For lunch, I'm also eating a banana, an apple, and then sardines. And what a beautiful day. Autumn in the piney woods of East Texas. Can't get much better than this. Nature's candy. This candy is so good. Mmm. 
look at it up close. It's sweet. Mm. Unbelievably good. Remember to eat everything that you pick. And don't pick more than you need. <sighs> Wonderful. My last one. I put the apples back in the hot oven. That way they'll finish baking while the main course is cooling off. It smells so good. I just want them a little bit softer. For dinner, we have refried beans with onion and chicken soup. And that mixture is cooked and it's just beautiful. On top of a tortilla with cheese. And so I'll have those. And then I've got a little leftover oatmeal cookie. Doesn't that look good? And then for dessert, apple crisp, fresh made apple crisp. I'm letting it continue to cook and, and cool off, and then I'll have that as, as dessert. Well, let's get started. Spoonful. A little bit of cheese. So good. And a refreshing drink. Yes, this is water. Enjoy.
perfect. I think I've outdone myself again. This looks so good. I'm going to taste one apple first. Mm hmm. It's soft and sweet. It has a little bit of a crunch to it, so you can tell it's an apple. And I'm going to put juice into it. Leave all that good apple juice in there. Oh man, that looks so good. You know, which one do you want? You want the leftovers or do you want, the, oh, you want the big one? No, no. I'll tell you what, I'll eat all of it. But this is so good. Now, that's my apple crisp. That's the apple crisp. Now, that's the apple part. Now, for the crisp, you add granola. And I like the Bear brand granola, which is mostly oatmeal sweetened with honey and then a few little berries in it. And that makes it an apple crisp with the crispiness on the top. Now, this is scrumptious. Enjoy that dessert. You see the apple and the oatmeal granola and a little bit of the berries. Mmm. This is so good. You have to have apples this time of year because they, they even grow down here in the south. Not as much as where most of you live in the north. There are more apples in the north. Mmm. Mmm, it's just so good. Look at it. Time to get the sack. I'll watch the fire while I'm in bed. There's my night light. That's for photographing the stars, that camera. And home sweet homes right here. And what's neat here, I can put my shoes on the on the chair. And my water bottle's convenient. Now let's see. Oh, this is so nice and comfy in here. I even have a little night light. And the switch is right over there. So I can just turn it on or off easily. And it can run as long as I want. So it's a neat little night light. And I'm all nice and comfy. And I can wrap this little scarf around me if I get cold, and I don't think I'm going to get cold. It's so nice in here. Sweet dreams, guys. See you in the morning. Good night.
Breakfast is served. Coffee. Orange. Egg. That's over easy. Doesn't that look good? And tortillas. Well, I didn't put any salt on the egg, so I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I have to get my electrolytes. Enjoy. Mmm. You gotta come camping, guys. There's there's nothing like this. This is just unbelievable. There are many things that you can do with American Beauty Berries. The settlers made jelly out of them. Uh, you can eat them raw. I just like to eat them raw. Mmm. So good. You can put them into muffins instead of blueberries. You've got a Beauty Berry muffins. And you can also make tea with them. And that really is the first step that when you're making jelly is to, is to cook, it, cook them up and then oh, uh, put a little water with them and gelatin and they turn into jelly. So what I'm going to do, take a little bit of water into my cup and then fill this cup with beautiful, freshly picked American Beauty Berries. Oh, this tea is going to be so good. It's a bright magenta color. Now I'm going to cook it and first I have to get a lighter. There we go. And I'm using the biofuel because you can control the heat on it. And I've got it on the low heat setting. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll let it simmer. And we'll let it simmer for, oh, 
And look, it's nice and juicy, and I'll show you what it'll look like. But anyway, this is what the, the container looks like. And then I'll boil this down with a little water in it. I'll put a little bit more water in it. And, man. This tea is so good. There's nothing like it. Okay, and so we just relax back in the hammock, enjoy the, the afternoon, and soon we'll have beautiful tea, different from any other tea you've ever had, American Beauty Berry. Oh yeah, this is so good. Can't you smell these berries? Yum, yum, yum. Check it in about, I'll check it in about 10 minutes. It's beginning to simmer. I'm going to take it off the fire. So it can cool down. Okay. This will cool. And then I'm going to pour it into here. As soon as it's cool enough for me to handle. No. Is that cool enough? Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. Whew. Okay. Let's move the camera so you can see it a little better. Okay. Okay. These are the beauty berries. I'm going to pour them in here. I'm going to smash up the berries more and then add honey to them. This honey will be the additional sweetener I use. That's enough honey. And when this cools off in a few minutes, then I will strain it into my cup and we'll have a, a cup of tea. One of the things I like about this Stanley cup is it has these holes on the top. And so that can be a screen to screen my tea. And so I'm pouring out my tea Oh, and it looks so good. It'll take a little while to pour out. It's got those berries it has to go through, but man. I'm interested in tasting this tea. It looks so good. That's sort of a dark red. Okay, here it goes. Mm. Man, this is the best ever. You'll love it. 
American Beauty Berry Tea. Sweetened with a little honey. It, it, it has a zing to it. It, it really is really good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to have to pour the rest of it out. It'll take me a little while, so I'll come back when I have my cup full. Close the berries, and then the tea. Enjoy. Try it. You'll like it. You know, with this tea in that hammock, I'm going to be sleeping very soon. This tea is so beautiful. If I had some pectin or gelatin, I could then turn this into jelly. But I just like drinking this jelly. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> Wish I had a clear glass to show it to you. It just is, it's sort of a brown red. It's pretty. In the South, you often can find uh, jelly made from American Beauty Berries. And if you, if you find these in some small shop, try it. Because it's a, it's a distinctly different flavor. And it's sweet and it, it's gentle. It, I really like it. Now sometimes I also take the berries and I put them in the oven. And so instead of, of cooking them like this, I put them in the oven so they're dried, like sort of like raisins. And then I can eat them, you know, for several months afterwards, just to sort of like, like little raisins. There's seeds in them, which are interesting to chew, but they're, they're, they're fine. I like them. Mm. Oh, man. When you're in a situation like this, it's important to be thankful. I am so blessed to be in this environment where nature provides all of these resources, everything. And we always need to take care of our environment. Don't overuse it. When you harvest berries like this, only harvest a small amount compared to what's available. The wildlife depend on this, and we're just taking a small amount to sample it. Uh, uh, and so, be environmentally concerned, conscious that th these wonderful things are for here for us and for the whole world. And so we want to make it so that future generations can enjoy the beauty that we see now and the beauty that we feel, and the learning that we have. Uh, nature has so many lessons to teach us, and I'm learning new ones all the time. Until next time, peace. I love hearing rain on the tarp. It's so relaxing. 
and this shelter and hammock are just set up just right. Keep, it's keeping me dry and all my stuff is dry. Really cool. I'm just going to relax here. Might even fall asleep. And everything I have here is under the shelter, so everything stays dry. Oh, it ain't going to rain no more, no more. It ain't going to rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't going to rain no more? Oh, a peanut sat on a railroad track. It's hard all a flutter. Around the bend came number 10. Toot toot, peanut butter. It ain't going to rain no more, no more. It ain't going to rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't going to rain no more? My uncle built a chimney, he built it so up high, he had to tear it down again to let the moon go by. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more, it ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more?